Hey guys, thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it, I hope your day is going really well. And I'm in On One Photo Raw 2019 today, and I thought I'd talk about brush masking because I've done a 10 or 12 videos on uh, regarding On One so far, but I haven't really stopped to talk about the tools. A lot of them have been about the filters and about getting started with the product. And um, you know, I thought it was important to pause and talk about masking. So I'll, I'll be doing some videos around masking. The first one I wanted to do is this one, and that is brush masking. Uh, brush masking is a very powerful and very useful tool in on one that gives you great control over your photo. Now what brush masking does, it allows you to paint an effect into a photo or erase an effect from a photo and I'll show you examples of both. Let me jump into the photo. Here we go. Um, I've got this photo. No edits have been done to it. I've got the sunshine filter, have not done anything to it yet. And I'm just going to drag the amount of sunshine pretty far to the right. I'm going to choose a little bit cooler look and I'm going to bump up saturation. It's okay if you don't like the colors. They're a little bit over the top. I'm doing it simply so it's easy for you to see. Now, when you want to get into masking with brush masking, that is, you, you can kind of do two things. The first one is you can hit the B key on your keyboard. And when I did that, you'll see that the, the, the masking uh, toolbar comes into play. I'm clicked on that, which is your masking brush. You've got two modes here. You can paint in or paint out. You can increase or decrease the size of your brush. You can increase or decrease the feathering. Um, size, you can also right click, which will increase the size of the brush. Left click, click on the bracket key, will decrease the size of the brush. Feathering, um, that basically will increase or decrease the size of that circle. So let me show you again. You've got a large outer circle and a smaller inner circle. Uh, inner circle. The feathering is will basically increase or decrease the, the distance between those two. And what that means is the distance between those two is kind of like a gradient zone where it kind of fades the effect. And so in that center circle, you're getting 100% of the effect. And depending on the size of the zone between the center circle and the outer circle, you'll get a lessened effect there. And uh, that's feathering. I generally leave feathering something kind of like this where you have a fair you know, a fairly decent zone between the two. And then the opacity is just the visibility of the, uh, of that imp, uh, of the effect that you're applying. Is it 100% uh, opacity, which means all of it is being applied, or do you reduce that in order to reduce the amount that's being applied? Some people like to reduce opacity and then paint over and over and over until they build up the look that they want. In this example, I'm just gonna do 100% opacity so you can see the, the whole thing. Um, also, the thing to be aware of is uh, when you want to get into the masking menu, there's this little uh, rectangle here that represents your photo. One click will open this drop down menu, and of course, one click on it will close it as well. I'm going to click it again so we can open it. And you've got a bigger uh, rectangle here that's all white, and this rectangle represents your photo. The key thing with masking to remember is that white reveals and black conceals. So because it's all white, that means the entire impact of the filter that I've applied is revealed across the entire photo. So white reveals, so this uh, sunshine filter is revealed across the entire photo. Black conceals, so if you hit invert, you're gonna invert that mask, and now black, as you can see it's black, is concealing the effect. So the entire impact of the photo is concealed or hidden you cannot see it across the entire photo. This is really where it comes down to personal choice. I personally prefer to start with a black mask and then choose paint in, right? You could, I'm gonna click invert, choose white, and in which case you would want to say, I wanna paint out. I wanna remove the effect um, if you're uh, painting out from a white mask. I prefer to have a black mask, um, conceal the entire thing, and then paint it in. It's personal preference. Uh, but all you do is you take your mouse and you start painting it in. You just rub your mouse as you're holding that down across the image. And I'm kind of going sloppy along the horizon here. Um, but, you know, we're friends. You're not going to hold it against me because we're just kind of showing how it works. And there you go. That's how you apply a brush mask. And if you want to look at your mask to check it for accuracy, you can click on view. And you can see that I kind of got the horizon there. I didn't do a great job. You can always go back and make adjustments by painting out. Uh, or if you want to just cover more of it, you can paint in. Um, I'm going to click view again just to go back to it. And you can always click Z to get back out of the brush masking um, 
uh, or the brush, uh, or the masking brush, I sh should say, and get back to your regular zoom mode. But that's a very basic tutorial on brush masking. And I wanted to cover this first before I go any further because um, I, I use brush masking quite a bit in some future videos I'm planning. And I'm also gonna get into luminosity masking and showing that. But I wanted to give you the real basics on uh, what the tool does, how you can use it, and what some of the commands are. And that was it, really. I was able to very quickly apply a filter and then brush mask it into the top of the photo only because I did not like how it created a really high contrast and kind of saturated uh, lower portion of this photo. I just wanted to apply that to the sky, and that's where brush masking comes in. So if you're shooting a scene and maybe you've got an area where you really want to amp up the details and the structure, brush masking is perfect for that. You can apply your filter, drag the sliders to get the look that you want, and then brush it in with uh, your mouse uh, or your masking brush quick and easy. And that's how it works. So hopefully this was a quick video. That was my intent. I do appreciate you watching. I would love for you to share any comments, feedback, uh, that sort of thing. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video, and I'll be back soon with more. So Thanks for watching, my friends. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Take care and adios.